I say hi and welcome to my YouTube channel and Merry Christmas to you. Uh, today is the 24th of December and yes I'm in the same t-shirt because pre-recording because I don't want to record on the Christmas Eve but I do want to deliver, deliver the video for this Christmas calendar which I've been releasing every day since the 1st of December. 1st of December. Uh, I bought this Christmas calendar for, from Want to Sell Retro. Um, and I do want to say, if you also bought this Christmas calendar, um, I would wait to, until tomorrow to watch these videos because I do not want to ruin your experience on unwrapping your package because I do not know if it's the same or he mixed up the games. I'm not taking the chances. So let's see what's in today. Uh, however, if you did decide to continue watching, um, I do want to know what you got in your Christmas cal calendar today, so please leave that in, in the comments below. So as for my second or second reveal, I can always see some here. The first game is coming to mind is Rapture, and it was Rapture. I s all I saw was the R here and I knew the game right away. Rapture, oh Call of the Shadow, holy crap. This is also a game I played a lot of when I was young. Ooh, Solar Winds, I do not know. Night Raid, I don't know either. Clyde's Adventure, I don't know either. Buick Golf, I don't know. However, this is Rapture is one of my uh, shoot 'em up games I loved when I was young. Holy crap! And that getting that on the 24th of December is even as good. However, I did see other games he had uh, got from his big auction, um, and I am gonna keep and watch out for his uh, web shop because uh, he had a lot of good games there, though, and he's fair with the prices. So I'm going to keep an eye out for his web shop because there are a few more of these I saw in his live stream uh, at some point. And he had a lot of games which I was playing as when I was younger. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for his web shop uh, unless he of course uh, doing them all as an auction. Uh, I am not as good as keeping up uh, with uh, when he's doing the auctions because it happens so uh, all of a sudden. Maybe I'm not completely into his schedule just yet. So if you are living in Denmark, do not throw this in your normal garbage. We have a specific spot in our recycling centers for this kind of plastic. So as for this, as same as the rest. Oh, this cover is broken. It's okay. Where's the plastic piece? Doesn't matter. Of course, same as always, easy unlock, and you can get the back cover out very quick. And as for uh, the tool case, of course, it's gonna be in the uh, hard plastic recycling as well. The reason why I'm doing this, putting them my games in these plastic sleeves, is mainly to downsize my volume. Because I'm at the point where my collection is so big that I need to downsize in that matter. So I found, found this fancy, uh, very good website where I can buy these sleeves for, I would say, an okay price. Maybe a bit to the expensive part, but I, I like them. They are solid and they don't break easy. And there it is. And of course, this one gonna be put inside here as well, so maybe one month or a uh, year <laughs> down the line, I am going to go and play these games. I can then see where I bought the game from, um, and I always like to have my information in order. Okay, so. Since this is the 24th of December, I'm actually going to re reveal to you how much space it would take 
Let's see if I can do this with one hand. If you hear a big boom, then you know why. Okay. So, so this is if it was in dual cases. And this is if they are in plastic sleeves. So yeah, you can see they take up very less, much less space. And um, as I mentioned yesterday as well, uh, many people they want to keep them in the jewel cases for nostalgic reasons. You, it's all up to you. I'm just telling what I am doing with my games. If I had the space, yeah, I would keep them in the jewel cases as well. But as it is, um, I'm at the point where I want to also expand more because uh, believe it or not I love video games old as new uh, and just within its first within the first lap for within the last four years I've become more interested in in console games as well so you might guess that my collection is gonna grow even more um, usually I am a bit cheap on that part um, I like to go to secondhand stores finding the games um, getting home archiving them and then maybe at some sometime i want to play that game and i don't have to uh, what do you call it hunt for it at that point i just know i have it in my archive and then i can go down and pick it up and start playing it and specifically for these uh, i am i am between Christmas and today and New Year, I'm gonna build a box uh, where I can put them in because there is no specific box out there that fits precisely this width here. Of course, it's not gonna be as tall, but maybe half, so they have some room in there as well. But I might, yeah, I think I'm gonna make a video about that. Uh, well, that's gonna be between Christmas and New Year, so have to subscribe if you want to follow on that project of mine and I have to build a few of them though I am I think at the moment I only have bought wood for making three boxes but for now it's it's okay um, these three first boxes are always going to be my prototypes um, to see how it goes and as I said all of these um, there might be some games I want to keep as a dual case. Uh, it's only very specific games, like the ones I have in my big box. I'm going to check their quality of those dual cases. If they are crap, of course, I'm going to switch them out to a better one that is not cracked or broken or anything. So two seconds, let me put this to the side. Um, I'm gonna put them in the big boxes as well um, the big box I am NOT gonna put down in these because I'm gonna keep those in the big boxes um, as for the games of those uh, it's only specific games like uh, games I I have personally history with uh, specific like uh, civilization Alpha Centauri uh, Half-Life uh, Starcraft, Warcraft, uh, what else is there? Need for Speed. Yeah, uh, th there's there's plenty of those, but I'm not just getting any big box PC, uh, big box PC game for just getting the big box. Uh, I'm only getting those I have history and has some special attachment to me. The rest of them, they are going to be placed in uh, these plastic sleeves. I think I have for the big P. Uh, no, I have for my DVDs here though. Um, I'm putting my DVDs in these plastic sleeves as well. Um, but that's for a different kind of video. Um, and as you can see here, some of my other games I've been putting. These are not from this uh, Christmas calendar, but uh, from when I went, go out for a secondhand store and I find the games, they are sometimes hiding between the audio CDs. Hint, hint. Um, 
nonetheless, as I said, this video is going to be a bit longer um, than the other tw 23 episodes of this. Um, so what can you expect from me in the new year? Well, first of all, um, there's going to be more uh, about my archives um, with my entire movie collection, my game collection as well, music uh, collection. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to do a, a so-called uh, introduction to my archives at th that point. Um, I don't want to put into here. I'm going to try and st stream every week because uh, I can't promise you anything at the moment. But I am looking into trying to stream at least two times a month. Um, if more than that, I of course. I'm going to try and see if I can stick to a schedule uh, as well. Because it's also about me getting into a routine um, when I'm doing these kind of things. Because sometimes when it's about to happen, I kind of always fall back on it. And I don't want to do it anyway. And after that, I, I get sad and I get moody and I lose interest. And I don't want to do that because I want to share my games. I want to share when I play my games as well. Um, but at the same time, I, I want to do as much of information I can in each of the Let's Plays I do. But sometimes it's not as easy when I'm just live streaming. So what I've been thinking about is when I do my first playthrough of the game, I usually, I usually do that. Not always, but I usually do. I can do those as a live stream uh, where I just play through the games and people can watch if they want to. Uh, and then the second uh, playthrough I'm gonna do. So. <coughs> so the next playthrough I'm gonna do is basically me uh, doing more information about the game for the first. And if the first playthrough of the game takes something off in my brain, I usually call them a brain fart, I might want to go in and do a more in-depth in -depth guide about the game, mainly doing them uh, text-based in a book. Um, and I, at the moment I am working on a quest book for World of Warcraft, uh, and I think I'm pretty far into it. Um, I'm still missing a few zones though, but I have recorded the videos for them, so they are available on my YouTube channel. Um, I am trying to make sure I release one quest each day, uh, and specifically here in December to the 24th and today, you have two videos per day because Christmas calendar and the quest. But, um, my, my my YouTube channel is not only about World of Warcraft, even though lately it has been showing only videos for that game. But I do want to go into other games as well. Uh, yeah, because I, I have a big passion for games, even though I'm a grown-up man. I just love sitting down with a game, putting my mind into what I'm actually doing and just relaxing. Many people don't understand that. Um, I'm not sure if it is it's a sickness or anything, but I'm one of those person I don't function well out uh, in the real life, meaning big social gathering. I usually become the awkward person s sitting in the corner, do not know what to do. Um, but again, it's something I have to work with as well. But I, I love spending my time online as well with my friends, talking to them. Uh, and. Develop, develop, developing my skills, recording these videos, edit, editing them, um, and yeah, I'm, I could specifically for these Christmas calendar, I maybe I could have put in more time for them, um, even though I I had the package with all 24 packages in one month, meaning uh, in the start of the November. And I'm guessing if I started recording there, I would actually have had video footage of each of the game there were in, in these uh, packages um, but as I said I procrastinated or what do you call it and put it off to 
I think I started one week before December. And, um, and it, it is haunting me now that I didn't start when I got the packages. Uh, I should have done that. Unless um, I'm, I'm just happy that I completed a project to 100% meaning uh, getting this Christmas calendar out there, sharing my uh, opening of, it, of them, and also seeing each of the games, seeing games I haven't heard about before. Um, don't, don't get me wrong, I am getting so much excited about uh, getting new games as well. Um, and of course, finding games that I played when I was young, specifically the last 23rd of December and 24th. These two games were one of my absolute best. And I think uh, there was one earlier as well uh, where I was thinking, holy crap, let's see if I can find it. Oh, where is it? There, it was in the start of, yeah, there was Sky Roads as well. Uh, that was one of the, and Magic Carpet was also one. Uh, and what else is there? Uh, yeah, XCOM. Uh, Terran, De Terran Defense Force, also one of them. What is the Hocus Pocus Destruction Derby? So yeah, um, want to sell retro? I can't remember your name now. I have two, two seconds. I want to get this right. I think his name is Henry. I'm pretty sure his name was Henrik. Well, he's called himself Spiffidane. Um, personally, I want to say to you, uh, thank you for an awesome Christmas calendar. Um, this was something that spoke to my heart, uh, meaning um, I love the old games. And when I saw it, uh, I had to get it. I'm sad I didn't get it much earlier because mainly because of money. Um, I bought this calendar for my own money. However, the price of this Christmas calendar and what the games I got, I think is more than fair. Plus the time he put into wrapping all of these 24 packages. I'm pretty sure he had help uh, doing that, uh, but nonetheless, um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for a very good Christmas calendar and I wish you a happy Christmas and for you watching here um, I wish you a happy Christmas as well and uh, hopefully uh, we're gonna see each other between Christmas and New Year as well if not we are definitely gonna see each other after New Year so that's it from here so I thank you for watching and um, I see you later.